it's Tarkat here and today I'm going to do a very different kind of video today. I'm going to be talking about IRL MTX. Now I was briefly talking uh, about clothes on stream and we went on to this massive tirade and it turns out a lot of people who watch my stuff are kind of like, oh but I've never really felt comfortable in clothes or I don't know how to shop for clothes. Would you make a video talk about clothes? So this is me making a video talking all about clothes. So I've prepared some notes and some easy like cheat sheet stuff and we'll show examples of everything all the way through. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. If you're not interested in that, look at how pretty my character is. My character is prettier than yours. Okay, so to bring up the cheat sheet. Today we're going to talk about like core essentials, budgeting stuff and so on and so forth. And we'll try and do stuff for like all different kinds of body type. So the core thing if you're on like a very limited budget and you're like you're going to school or uni or for whatever reason you're just like oh i don't really know what to dress for if you have your core essential stuff down then you'll be covered and then you can accessorize other things so core essentials would be stuff like having a well-fitted pair of trousers that you feel comfortable in if you had absolutely zero money you'd get a pair of just like black trousers because black goes with everything and if you had more money to play with you get like a something like very dark and then something very light and i'll show you some examples in a bit so Jeans are always a good one. Most people wear jeans. And, you know, to show some examples of cuts, it doesn't have to be super skinny, it doesn't have to be super loose. Um, you can go for Levi, for example. Now, you might be like, dude, these seem really expensive. If you know, like, what cut you like. So let's say that you're like, oh, I really like this. This is a 5'11 slim fit. Then you could just search for that when it's in sale and buy it. So here's an example for you different, like, different kinds of cuts. Find something you like the look of and be like, oh, cool. This is the cut that I like. Sick. Then you keep on going. So... To show you a few different examples of different kind of trousers you could go for. So like Dickies is more like a workman's fit, more like skatery stuff. Stuff pops. I really like this. It's like a wider kind of thing. So if you're like, oh, I don't like super tight clothes or whatever, you could go for something a bit more like this. Now, let's say that you're like, ah, I don't like that. I like more of a tapered chino. Personally, I don't really fuck with chinos, but chinos are like always in. People really like chinos and stuff. So, yeah, if you're like, ah, I don't really like trousers, you know, but I want something a bit more dressy, maybe go for that. They're usually pretty affordable and pretty comfy. But if you're like, but Taki, I can't wear jeans. Jeans are yucky. You can wear sweatpants and you can look cool, but you've just got to, like, try hard a little bit more with it. So you could just go for, like, a pair of, like, skinny or slim fit joggers in all black if you want to go for, like, just the replacement jeans. Or you could go for something a bit more popping like this here, and suddenly you're looking like, ooh, you're looking very shenazzy. A few more examples of something a bit more clean. Again, like a very relaxed kind of loose fit with a nice hoodie. And this is like very comfy boy clothes. But this lad here, he's looking clean. He's looking very presentable in very muted plain things. Nothing that fancy. Someone's talking like, but Taki, I only wear a hoodie and sweatpants. I can never like not look trash. Well, I think this guy looks pretty cool here. So that's sort of whatever. So then once you've got like the bottom half sorted, you know, obviously you need some shoes. Here are just some examples, shoes that are very popular and the styles are nearly always in. Stan Smiths, I like Adidas stuff more than Nike generally. Um, if you get a pair of white stands, that will go with nearly everything. Now personally, I don't like white shoes because I'm really clumsy and I drop stuff all the time. So I nearly only ever wear dark shoes because if I was wearing a pair of white stands, I'd drop tea, with it, tea on it within a few seconds. But if you're like, okay, but I'm mostly wearing like black t-shirts, black trousers, you know, what's something slightly more interesting. Maybe you could go for a pair of suede, get some color waves in there. Um, I'm really into like dark foresty greens and yellows personally. I really fuck with that. Um, Vans old school, it's another like classic silhouette. You know, when it often comes with shoes, they're often like, like one silhouette, which just always works. So if you were like, oh, I really like Vans. If you had a pair of Vans old school, you could buy it, wear it for a few years. It falls apart, buy a new one, who cares? And once you've like found like your core thing, that's like your essential. That's why I say your essential thing. So you find like a trouser cut that you like, buy one in black, buy one in a lighter color. Find a shoe cut you like, buy one in black, buy one in a lighter color. And you can wear those all the time and just rotate the top half. Um, if you go for some like Chuck Taylors, you can go for like a lower or a high top. Lower high top would depend on the kind of trousers that you are wearing. Um, if you wear like, you know, um, for example, some very low joggers, then you'd go for a low top. Whereas if you had something like rolled up or cuffed, then you'd go for like a high top because obviously you need shoes which match the silhouette of your trousers. Um, Nike Air Force One is a very, very like uh, staple silhouette. Uh, just a pair of black or white Air Force Ones. You don't need to go super crazy. You don't need to get like super expensive Jordans. Always bloody work. And then Dr. Martens, if you're a bit more try hard, if you're a bit like me, like that slightly edgier look, a pair of uh, black Dr. Martens will work with absolutely anything. And they're shoes that you buy for life. Like you buy these, 
they'll last you for like 20 years and they'll still be going. So you can't really go wrong with them. If you want like boots, but you don't want to look like a try hard punk, then you can go for like a pair of chucker. Chucker boots are really good. You could wear them to like work, whatever. Very kind of like normy friendly chucker boots. Chucker boots are a safe bet. Very cozy as well, because it's often like quite a soft leather. Now, going into the top half, as you can see here, I'm wearing just a light black denim jacket over a t-shirt. And it's a very easy way of like layering up. So once you've got your core essential, you know, bottom half with some trousers you like, some shoes you like, and then you're like, okay, but now how do I dress up my random t-shirt or whatever? You can never go wrong with just a black denim jacket. It will always be in fashion. They're always really affordable and they cost like nothing. I've had this jacket for over eight years. I've recently done some random stuff to scuff up. I've like distressed it and whatever, but this costs me like 20 quid and it's still going because it's denim. Like denim doesn't die. It just keeps on going forever and ever and ever. Sherling jackets are very cool. If you've got, you know, a little bit more money to flex with, then you want to be standing out a little bit, but you still want to be really nice and cozy. You could go for a Sherling jacket, or maybe you could kind of go for like a denim jacket with like a, a, a Borg lining or whatever. That also kind of works. Going into bomber jackets. Bomber jackets are another like very uh, basic uh, silhouette, which will always be in style, will always be in fashion, and again, is very comfortable. People are just like, oh, I can't have nice clothes because they aren't comfortable. If you're not comfortable in a bomber jacket, you screwed up. Bomber jackets are always are fucking amazing. Then another thing I really fuck with is uh, just overshirts in like a really thick like brushed cotton uh cot cotton or wool here you can kind of see an example i actually have this exact uh shirt this is why i showed this so again if you're wearing just like a plain white t-shirt with black jeans black shoes and then you throw on a nice popping mustard then suddenly your very boring outfit then scales up and that's why if you have your essential trousers and shoes down and then you rotate through a few different jackets or shirts or whatever then suddenly you can wear the same thing like every day but it looks like you've got loads of different outfits on if you're that guy who's just got this one like really wacky, super expensive, Gucci, uh, Gucci shirt, you can only wear that once. You can't wear that every day. Because you wear that every day, they're like, dude, the fuck is wrong with you? Or if you have your core essentials down and you just rotate, then you'll always be safe. Another very like basic cut that you'll see nearly everyone wear is a pea coat. You can't ever really go wrong in a pea coat. Everyone kind of looks good in it. If you want to dress up a bit and look a little bit more like presentable, if you, you know, work in an office or something, Throw on a pea coat and then, you know, pea coat, white t-shirt, jeans, still kind of works. Now, parkas are another staple, very kind of British kind of vibe. Better if you, like, need something which you can wear all year round. Probably be a bit hot if you get, like, a fully lined one. But if you went for a light parka jacket, you could wear it, you know, in sort of, like, autumn and winter. In summer, you don't really be rocking this, but maybe if you just got, like, a windbreaker, it's the same kind of, like, outline. But then you're like, but Taki, I just want to wear hoodies and you can't look good in hoodies. Well, you can look good in hoodies. And to kind of show you an example for all of these things, so let's say that like, you decided I really wanted a Sherling jacket. Find a website. I'm just using ASOS as my example. And be like, okay, let's search for, you know, hoodies. And I haven't got much money, so let's sort for hoodies from price low to high. Or do I didn't just completely break it to search for hoodies. Price low to high. And then I've just picked like a few examples through here of stuff which, you know, looks kind of decent. So you could go for this, again, going for the layering vibe, um, go for it in just like different color. If you have like your core essentials, like trousers, shoes, and safe colors, then you do like slightly more interesting over things. Then you have that like highlighting in a way which kind of pops and it looks kind of cool, right? So if you're like, I only ever want to wear a hoodie, but you wore a hoodie in a slight like off color here, then it looks, presents what looks more interesting than just a dude in like a oversized black hoodie, which doesn't quite fit him, and an oversized black this, which doesn't quite fit him. If you want to be a bit more adventurous, shove a little bit of light pink in there. Works really well. Obviously, the colors will depend on the rest of your fit and like your skin tone. We'll get into color theory stuff later. But you really can't go wrong with comfort. Like, you can have comfortable clothing if you're smart about it, which still looks good. It doesn't really matter what your body shape is. So if you're like Bataki, you know, you've just shown me those like really skinny dudes and everything looks good on skinny dudes or whatever. Here's like a really good example. So if you're like um, a bit larger and you're like, oh, I don't like man boobs or whatever. If you have like an, uh, a layer, so like a jacket or a hoodie in this case, because there's a panel here, if you're like really self-conscious about having man boobs or whatever, the second you put a panel on top of it, you just won't see it. So yeah, you don't really have any excuse. Layering is very important. Layering is, is key. Now, if you want to be slightly more edgelord, XXX Tentacion, get some really loose draped back black hoodie looking absolutely pog champ. So 
Now let's get into color theory. So color theory is very basic. Now let's say that you know, you're like, okay, so I've got my core essentials, I've kind of got a few things, but I don't know what goes with this. When you look at color wheels, color wheels tell you what works well with what. So very basic is things opposite on uh, the color wheel, they complement each other. Now you don't generally want to wear red and green together because red and green is very highly associated with Christmas now. Uh, red and green work very well together, but if you go out wearing full red and green, you're gonna look like a Christmas tree. Um, now, personally, I tend to go for more of this thing. I often like pick colors which are all kind of like next to each other and they blend really well. And you don't have to pick to these core cool things. You can basically draw any shape you want. So let's say that you did a triangle. Let's say you went for like a yellow with more like a orangey browns and then like a blue. Um, that's the way that you can blend it all together. And to give you a perfect example of that, here we have a dude who's worn a very nice, just simple hat to bring everything together. And here you can kind of see how he's stuck to a sort of a triangular color wheel. So you've got like the mustardy yellow with some even more like umbery, like browny oranges with the blue, right? So here it all looks uh, very simple. He's on a, some layering, it all kind of pops. And this entire thing, you don't need to know anything about it. You literally just look at this and go, oh yeah, he's done this. He's gone like yellow, orange, blue. It's really simple. So you can do like triangles, you can do squares, you can do whatever. But if you really know nothing, if you always wear black, black will go with everything. Black goes with everything, white goes with everything. So if you do like all black, then with just like a color two, you look fucking clean. So yeah. Let's say you really wanted a nice t-shirt. You don't want a plain t-shirt. You know, you could go with something kind of like that. Again, color theory. This isn't just a massive advert, but I'm just kind of saying it's there if you're really like, oh, I don't know what to wear. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, hopefully that kind of helps people. And if you guys like this more lifestyle -y kind of side of things, I'll do more of it. I actually, as you might be able to tell, really like clothes. So yeah, if you want more of this kind of thing, let me know. I'll do more of it. If this is the worst thing you've ever seen, also let me know, because that'll be entertaining. But yeah, I'm Taki. Clothes, by the way, there's no excuse. It doesn't matter what body type you have. If you just like think about it a little bit and you're you buy things in sale, never buy things full price, you can look decent, it won't cost you much, and you'll generally just feel better about yourself. And if you feel better about yourself, well then you'll feel better about yourself. So yeah. Also, if you learn how all this stuff works, your MTX game and PV will also look better. So it's all a win, 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 win. I'm Taki. Have a good day. Bye bye.